this tutorial we're going to show how to use DAX to make various kinds of histograms like curves and spectra and radial profiles. Um, we begin by opening an event file um, and that's important. Um, we then uh, make it pretty and recenter it to where we want to be and say this is the source we want to make a uh, light curve or a spectrum from. So we go to the histogram menu, uh, tear that off, and then we select the PI pulse height invariant spectrum and that pops up. Um, so now we have channel or energy uh, versus counts or what will eventually be flux. Um, we can also uh, draw another region and we can designate that to be our background. and then re-extract the spectrum. And now instead of getting uh, counts, we end up getting net counts, which looks pretty much the same because the background is pretty low and the source region is pretty small. Um, we remove the background and we move the region around and it's that easy now to create another spectrum for another source. Just drag the drag the region and click a button. Uh, the spectra obviously look very very different. Uh, one is much harder, one is much softer. Um, we can use the same region now and extract a light curve, so bin on time, and we use a bin size of 100 seconds. And that pops up. It's a uh, a little bit, a uh, little ratty. Um, the bin size might be a little bit too small. Um, rather than guessing, we can use the uh, Gregory Laredo algorithm, GLVARY, to create a different light curve. Um, and it's easy to see that there's a kind of a strong flare at the end of the observation. Um, we can repeat this for the first source. Um, we see similar flare, but a much, much higher. Uh, it's almost a factor of 10 uh, increase in intensity. Uh, so you might think that's actually, you know, maybe that's just a background event or background flare. Uh, so we pick a third source, do it again, and uh, it's not. Um, this source actually flares at the beginning of the observation. We can now uh, go and uh, load an image. And you see when we do that that the histogram menu has a lot of uh, grayed out options. Um, you can only make the histogram, those histograms, time and, and energy from event files. You can't do that once you've already binned it up into an image. Uh, but what you can do with an image is do radial profiles. So I've now gone in and selected the uh, annulus shape. Uh, double click it. And then you can add more radii. So I want to make five radiuses. Um, and change the inner radius to be zero generate and apply and that gives us uh, nice radial rings and click the radial profile button and you get a nice radial profile. Uh, if we move it over here where the uh, outer annulus uh, covers a couple of sources um, you see a large spike um, which you would expect there's bright sources in the background.